Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Red Dead Redemption 2. And in this one, I want to show you guys where to find and how to hunt all of the legendary beasts. There are 16 in total, and upon hunting them, you then unlock the ability to craft the associated gear. It's purely cosmetic, but for those of you guys that want to tick off your completion, then this is something you're going to want to do. So if you do enjoy this, if you find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. If you haven't entered our Spider-Man PS4 Pro giveaway, then don't forget to click that link in the description box down below for your chance to win. And also, if you don't want to miss any of our future uploads, then click that notification button so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Now, to begin with, the process for hunting these for the first 15 is the same. You will do the exact same thing, albeit in different locations. What you will begin by doing is approaching the general vicinity of the legendary beast, and then once you're there, you'll get notified that you are in the vicinity of a legendary beast. You then need to go and find a clue, and upon finding that clue, you will then use your eagle eye to then go and find the next two clues, and upon finding the third one, you will be led to the legendary beast. You then need to kill it, and upon killing it, you can then skin it and take that skin back to the trapper. Now, you don't technically speaking have to do that. If you get the kill, it registers and you can then go to the trapper and craft the gear. But if you take the actual physical pelt back, you can also sell it in the process. So there's some money to earn. So that's your general flow for the first 15 beasts. The 16th one is a little bit different, but we'll get to that in the end. So to begin with, starting off with the bear, this is one that you might actually have encountered yourself pretty early on in the game, but if you haven't, then what you want to do is go over to the Grizzlies East, right where you see us on the map right now, and this is where you want to go to pick up your first clue. Now, something else worth calling out as well, a tip for hunting any of these legendary beasts is that if you use the rolling block and you pair this with express rounds and deadeye, then for most of your kills, you'll actually be able to take them out with relative ease. You'll find that in, you know, three to four shots, give or take, your targets will be down. So this is just a tip for, you know, hunting any of them. If you have this, this is kind of a weapon you'll get pretty early on, then this is something that might make your life a lot easier. Either way, find the clue, follow the clue, and hunt the bear. Moving on from there to the legendary beaver. For this one, you want to go north of the Kamasa River to this location you see here. Now, you want to pay attention to where we're currently standing. This is where you'll find the first clue. Now, do bear in mind that you probably want to use eagle eye because they're not necessarily the most obvious things, but when you activate it, you can definitely see it. Then upon finding that first clue and interacting with it, you can then turn on your eagle eye and you can essentially follow the line to the second and third clues. This next part, once you've found the first clue, is actually pretty straightforward. Moving on from there to number three, the legendary Bighorn Ram. This one is just south of the Grizzlies West sign of the map to the right of Cattail Pond. Over here, you can see on that sort of dirt track, if you go over to where we're standing right now, this is where you will find the first clue. And again, same principle as before, follow that to the second and third clues, and then you will find the ram. Moving on from there to the legendary boar. This one is just north of the Blue Water Marsh sign. If you go and look where we're currently standing over here, just on this pathway, this is where you'll begin. What you're looking for is essentially some dung on the ground. Doesn't necessarily look that obvious. So this is one of those things where going first person might actually make it easier. Similar thing to when you were looking for dinosaur bones, it's kind of just easy to look on the ground in first person. Find that, interact with it, follow the path to the next two locations, and you can then find and shoot the boar. Thank you. 
Now for the legendary buck, you're gonna go all the way to the west side of the map over to Big Valley or West Eliza. And then over here on this dirt track you can see on the actual map, this where we're currently standing is where you will find your first clue. Follow that one to the next two and you will then find the buck. For the next one, the legendary Bull Gator, you're gonna to go to the south of the Lagras River in Bayo Noir. And here, just off the path, is where you'll find your first clue. And you can then follow that one through to find your second and third ones before you find the Alligator. He's a pretty tough opponent, so uh, definitely try and engage him from range because you don't really want to get snapped up by this guy. For the legendary cougar, you're going to be going over to Gap Tooth Ridge, just the west of Tumbleweed. This is where you want to put your waypointer to just off the path. Again, there's another little sort of dirt track that deviates off the main path, but this, where we're currently standing, is where you want to be. You'll find some more cougar dung, which, you know, blends into the ground, isn't very easy to see, but once again, follow that, activate your eagle eye, and then go through to find your next two before you find the cougar. For the legendary coyote, what you want to do is go to the south of Dewberry Falls, and if you go over to this location here, just to the right of the old Green Bank Mill, this is where you'll find the first clue, some more dung, and you can then follow that to your second and third ones before you find the beast. For the legendary elk, you're going to be going to the east of Bracker Station, over where you see us right here. This is just sort of away from the train track. And you then want to go and find your first clue around about here, where we're standing right now. And again, you can follow that to the next two before you find the elk. You will then find the legendary fox located just by the Mattock Pond. So for this one, you want to start where you see us here. Again, you can sort of see this uh, faint track off the main pathway. This is where you'll begin. And then you can follow that clue all the way up to the location of the fox. Then for the legendary moose, what you want to do is go to the northeast of the map. If you go north of the Brandywine drop, if you actually start on this little island you see in the middle here, this is where you'll find the first clue. And then upon finding this, you can follow that all the way to the location of the moose. For the next one, if you go to the south of Austin, to the right of the Rio Bravo sign, this is where you'll find the legendary pronghorn. You will find your first clue right about here, where we're standing right now, and you can then follow this to the location of the beast.
for the legendary bison, you want to go to the north of San Luis River, where you see it standing right now. And if you go to just off the pathway, this is where you find the first clue, which you can then follow with Eagle Eye again to the location of the bison. However, that's not the only bison you'll be hunting. There's also a legendary white bison. This one you will find to the north of Lake Isabella. Just on the side of the lake, as you see here, off the pathway, this is where you'll find your first clue. And upon finding this one, that will then lead you to the legendary bison. Then for the wolf, you want to head over to Kotora Springs. This one is actually pretty easy to find. You will find the first clue around about here where you see us on the map at this moment. And then once you found this one, you can then follow the next two all the way over to the wolf. Generally speaking, by being in this area, you tend to get attacked by wolves anyway. So either way, follow this and you'll find your legendary wolf. Now, with all 15 complete, you will now have to hunt the 16th legendary beast. However, in order to do this one, while the actual hunting process will follow the similar format, there are some prerequisites before you can get the 16th beast to spawn. For this one, and this is pretty long, which is why we haven't quite completed it just yet, but we can show you all the steps you need to follow. The first thing you need to do is skin three deer. You will then need to get three perfect quality rabbit pelts. You'll then need to track 10 different animal species using your binoculars. You'll have to get a clean kill after calling to an animal five times. Skin three black or grizzly bears. Kill five cougars with your bow, then skin them. Use bait to lure and kill both a herbivore and a predator. Catch three fish without using a fishing rod. You then need to catch an opossum playing possum. And finally, once you've done all of that, which is pretty lengthy, then you can go and find a kill the legendary panther. And again, once it comes down to that one, this is where you'll need to head to on the map. You then follow the same principle. You'll go to this area, you'll use Eagle Eye to find that first clue, follow that first clue to the second and the third, and you'll then find the panther. And that, my friends, is the 16th legendary beast. So, hopefully you guys found that helpful. That's a quick guide on how to find and hunt all 16. If you guys have any questions, by all means let me know in the comments down below, but otherwise, keep it locked for plenty more Red Dead Redemption 2 coverage. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.